Blizzard Nation. Welcome back to Strictly Business, episode 99. Like 99. Clock is ticking. I just got Prince in my head. (laughs) It feels like 1999. Yes. Someday we might get there. True. It's a lot of episodes. Yep. Where do you want to start today, Kathy? Wait, I know. Big shout out to (laughs) (laughs) Creative Edge. Yeah. We'll get to this. We got our gamers on. I think my chair spins. Oh boy, but this could this. Very nice. Mine is too. It doesn't say Ryan on the back. Half line. hour later, Kathy hang and Ryan refaced the desk. Hang on. Kathy says Ryan's as well. Surprise. Um, <laughs> so big shout out um, for our esports jer- eat spurts esports. Cool. Scratch we, that. Reverse it. Esports. 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 That's like uh, Wally Eva. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Now we've gone <laughs> down a path. Do we need to start Huge over? shout out <laughs> to Edge VR Arcade, where you can play eSports and, uh, you know, Creative Edge, responsible for eSports, all things strictly business, and Werner Electric. <laughs> Sorry, Werner, we don't have any creative <laughs> We didn't items mispronounce for you. your business, so. <laughs> for all your electrical needs. Yes. I saw they must really have tried to get stuff out for their 75th year because they're on a bobblehead at the T-Rats too, mm-hmm. Werner is. So. Yeah, they're trying, awesome. to, trying to pass up some of the other local businesses that have been big competitors of theirs. For Very years, cool. So. Well, great so. job, Werner. So yes. the bobblehead looked cool too. I we, think it's coming we up. We see you. Yep. Yeah. Fabulous. Good. Got that out of the way. Very uh, stealthily <laughs> really you did. Really professional too. Yes. Yes, you might type some, me an intro. That's per- professional. You, you need a little AI help in <laughs> you. You know, out. you know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yep. we had a game. We did. You want to talk a game. about the game? We won a game. Yeah. Uh, Iowa is always fun to have in the building. I felt bad for Moogs after he said, "Kathy, I think you guys have a hex on me because <laughs> I'm now 0 for three in your building." And I said, well, "It wasn't that bad." Where's he getting the third one? Oh, last year. Yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, because he won when he was with us. Right. So, yep. Right. Right. So uh, we did beat Iowa, and from a standings, and I think this isn't ever. Those of you that are big time followers of the IFL, you can tell me. But as of right now, we are four and four, and we have the same record as the Arizona Rattlers. <laughs> Has that ever happened before? I don't know. I don't think so. No. Nope. No. So they won, though. They did win. Yeah, they won. They got um, an ass, I, I got my cheat sheet here. So we have the same record as Sioux Falls. That way we don't have 94 retractions on right. episode 100. Right. So in our conference, um, we're tied with Sioux Falls right now. Um, in the other conference, it's the Rattlers and Vegas that are tied at 4-4. Four and four. It's crazy. Yeah, there's a whole bunch in the middle. Yep. So now it truly becomes playoffs, and in the not-too-distant future, it'll be all of the various rules that we have. And we'll go through that probably in the next month. What are the different uh, playoff rules that we have, and you know where does strength of schedule come in? Where do um, opponents that you played come in? All of those good things. Yeah. Big uh, upset, too. So, I mean... I don't consider it an upset because Bay Area is probably one of the better teams on paper in our league, but um, we have no more undefeated teams. That is correct. So, that is correct. Yeah. And Frisco looked a little bit mortal the past couple of weeks, so it was going to happen, in my opinion. And yeah. Well, and, and Frisco Frisco is a great team, but now that we're in the mid, middle of the season, injuries start to come into play. Uh, season-ending injuries come into play, and uh, people are just tired. It's... It's just the nature of our yeah. game. So, so we have huge games. The rest of them all they all They're matter. All huge but, yeah. But we we head to Quad Cities and I think we get Quad Cities three more times this year, which one hundred percent will affect the outcome of the playoffs because right. Quad Cities the two seed on our side right now. Correct. Um they lost. They did lose. Yep. So they're mass. gonna be they're going to be uh <clears throat> They're going to be ready for a win when we go there. <laughs> in their building. This weekend. Yep, they do pretty good in attendance-wise, too. They so, do. Yep. They do, which can, as we all know, 
upset the the play of the game. Uh, this our past game that we had. Let's let's talk about that just a little bit. So that was our twentieth anniversary game. Yeah. So we had players in the building from the original season of two thousand and three, which was fantastic. These guys look like they could still play. I, I mean, seriously, they were in great something shape. that has never been said about me. <laughs> Did you ever play football? No. Oh, well, tennis. <laughs> So can you it's still a relevant play? statement. Can yeah, I can play still tennis? play the game I never played. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as you can, that's great. True. Uh, so anyway, they they looked great. Uh, it was great talking to them on how the game has changed. It was uh, there were a couple of them that I would love to have come back and talk to our players. Uh, they just had a lot of great information and great information of transitioning out of football when uh, your time is done. Yeah. I do want to give a shout out to our fans because I was very impressed. I went out before we introduced them at halftime and asked the fans that have been there for all 20 years to make some noise. And there were quite a few. So I was very impressed by that. Uh, and then also impressed by the dedication of our fans. Um, the Stephens that sit across from me, I noticed that he was in dress pants and I said, yeah, he missed an event. He told me. Well, he went. He went to the wedding. Yeah. His niece got married. <laughs> and then he skipped the dinner. When he to skipped come to the dinner. Game. To come to the I game. said he had a problem. I respect that problem, but like, <laughs> I thought it was great. <laughs> yep. Larry and I were like, high five. <laughs> Hopefully, he made it to the reception. Right. But that just shows the dedication of of some of our fans, and we have quite a few that are very dedicated uh, to what we do for the blizzard with the blizzard and the ifl so kudos to all of you guys all of you fans that are out there not just with our team but with yeah. all of the teams within the ifl because we know there's others that that watch this show uh anything else on the game itself no i thought it was cool a huge shout out to nap who has put in the legwork the past two seasons both on the bomber game and this mm -hmm. game that's not easy no um to track down the people, get them to respond, get their head count. Um, I got the easier part of that, which is taking care of them in a good space, inviting them to PMI's event. Um, so shout out to Nap. That's a, that is a bad game of telephone at its best of trying to figure out where these guys are coming from and who's flying in. And um, yeah, he did a great job. And then writing the script for Vetrano at halftime, you name yeah. it. So, how many, yeah. How many actually came from the original team? He'll correct me, but I think we ended up at seven. I think we either gained one or lost one in the original. We were going to have eight or nine. I don't remember where that landed, but yeah. What I find very interesting is that a lot of them are educators. Yeah. Like high up in education, principals, administrators, or just working with kids to do football type things, such as yeah. quarterback coaching or other coaching. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. So. I thought it was a really good event. So yeah. yeah, yeah, it turned out great. I actually really like these shirts. I'm gonna be honest. So they're very breathable. They are. You know what? Kind of Thanks for the gamers. That's what kids call them these days, right? Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, because I can see we'll why wear you this wanna... if we're not pajamas. wearing our strictly jackets. Like this is normal attire. Oh, uh, the strictly jacket gets very. It gets hot. warm. Yep. They're meant for winter. I yeah. Think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speaking of strictly attire. Yes. We have people asking for those. Well, they keep you asking for those jackets. So it's not just the jackets. Oh. They want to know when we're going to have some like swag. Got it. Some point. I don't know the exact answer. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll take that over. Uh, we will have some definitely for Christmas. Okay. And there then, you go. And then absolutely for next season. Yep. We have fans. Twelve man. days of Blizzmas will return oh, in a worst version. Oh boy! Sung it two seasons ago. Three. We'll sing it again. What? That was for Christmas in July. Yeah, that's right. Actually, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're not doing yeah, that. Yeah, that was COVID forced a home Correct. game in July. Yep. Correct. Anyway, all right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the IFL. Okay. If you didn't get a chance, you should go out and check our red zone version that we had this past weekend. We had quite a few games on Saturday and one on Sunday. Uh, we have a new hour rendition of Inside the IFL Red Zone. And basically, we had two commentators that uh, go from game to game, talking about significant plays, talking about score, 
and it was fabulous. So thanks to uh, Beck Communications because they're the ones that are putting that together. And it's just another thing that the IFL is doing to show the legitimacy of our league and just, it, I mean, it was fabulous. It turned out great. It turned out great. And it's going to continue. And that helps with the next thing we'll be introducing from a betting platform perspective, which is coming probably in the playoffs. I can't, I can't, I don't know what I can say and can't say. <laughs> usually so you I just have say to, it. I usually just say it and then I get <laughs> my hand slapped, but I've gotten my hand slapped quite a bit this year, so I got to stop saying Perfect. stuff. Perfect. I think we announced the coach's retirement before we were supposed uh, to. You did that. I did well, not. <laughs> sorry. But that one is on me. You're right. He's not really retiring. Nope. He's just leaving the IFL. Yeah. That's out of the bag now. That's not another hand slap. <laughs> yeah, no, that one's out there. We may have forced it out of the bag, but yeah. no, I think it was coming. Yeah, it was. Okay. It was. We're good. That one was. That was not the one I was worried about. <laughs> but all good. Very cool. So anyway, check that out. I think uh, again, it it just shows it shows where we're going with the league, and we're hoping that by the time the championship game gets here, we'll have the new teams that will be coming in oh, cool. for next year as well. So awesome. Yeah. We'd love to see the, the Beck sports groups back too, but I'm not going to force you to get your hand slapped on air, but I hope they return. So, Oh, they will be. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. We have Bismarck who was out this year because of some workers comp issues in their state. will be coming back. Maybe not in Bismarck. I don't know where, sure. where they'll end up landing. Maybe it's Bismarck, but we'll, We'll hear all of that, too, in the not-too-distant future. Awesome. And when is that championship game, Kathy, if fans want to get tickets to Vegas well, right now? I believe it is the first weekend in August. Yep. Saturday the 4th? Well, I think it's the... Well, yeah, because the, the, the logo says the weekend. I think it's the 5th. Okay, so it's... Well, <laughs> yeah. we're leaving the 4th, so it's the 5th. <laughs> okay. Uh, at one thirty, I believe. It's an afternoon, afternoon game. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. are on a different time for zone than we are true so yeah yeah but we'll be there Vegas we might never even do sleeps. an episode from there wouldn't that well, now be now you're fun? telling me i have to go yes versus the me saying hey do you want me to go <laughs> no i thought you were going oh okay well newsflash <laughs> you told me you were going kirsten you're on the clock to see if you're going to vegas <laughs> right i thought i thought we had that all figured out so Perfect. apparently not but i thought that was all figured out uh so that's all i have from the ifl perspective cool uh, again, just keep your eyes on social media for all the great things that are coming. Uh, next year is going to be fabulous. Yeah. But we're not done with this season yet. So. No. Watch uh, social media. I tell you where, but I'm just waiting for confirmation the view party will be. And a lot of our regulars are actually heading to Quad Cities, so we're working out the view party details. So, um, But by the time you see this, be sure you're watching social media because we'll have the view party location pinned down. Sports bars, as you hit warm weather, are tough when you get live yeah. bands. So it's not like we wouldn't host a view party every time. Just we're they in have the to thick of NBA people. playoffs for yeah. baseball. Like taking up a TV is a lot harder than you guys think for indoor football. So, yeah. yep. Yeah. I mean, I'd have you all over to my house, but I might not be there. <laughs> so. You're not going to. Wait, are you going to? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you're watching the game Friday night. <laughs> I'll probably be watching it at home, quite okay. honestly. No, um, Larry is, is contemplating going to the okay. game, so we'll see what he... I have a commitment on Saturday, so I can't travel to Quad Cities. But Got it. Yeah. What else do you know? Uh, our next home one will be Military Appreciation Night, so we'll keep bringing out details on that as we approach that game more. But And that's June 9th. June 9th, pregame block party, mm -hmm. uh, 5 p.m. We have Wisconsin So take off of work young. at noon. Yeah. We have a gentleman from The Voice, uh, Chris Cruzy, and he's from Wisconsin. He's going to do a acoustic set out front. We'll have inflatables, you name it. So the normal end-of-the-year home game stuff we do up front. And then Military Appreciation Night featuring uh, both the Pulaski Choir doing the National Anthem. Uh, and the Pulaski Marching Band doing patriotic songs at halftime and throughout the game. We're going to yeah, feature the Pulaski gonna Marching Band. So fabulous. It'll get loud. So Very loud. <laughs> Yep. Good. And the block party starts at what time? Five. Five yeah. p.m. Doors at six. So we wrap the block, block party at six. We have time to get inside. So, yeah. Excellent. Good. And the following day, if you're 
Um, we brought it up like nine times on the show here, but the Michael Finley camp still has registration spots open. You'll start seeing that a lot more now that we're on the stretch to that and the home game tied to it. So, Perfect. Yeah, so the, the home game season is coming to a close, uh, and we've talked about this several times. For us, we're not a warm weather state. I know when you get out west, people love to be inside in the air conditioning. Yeah. We don't have that problem here in Wisconsin. People love being outside, playing with the mosquitoes and, <laughs> you know, doing things at their cabins, doing right. things um, at campgrounds, you name it. Yeah. So it's very hard to get people in the stands here. Yeah. What else do you know? We saw a movie. Is we that where you're going? Were movie. you waiting for me to tee that I one up? I was waiting. Okay. I, it's like a mic. <laughs> just going to see if I remembered seeing a movie. Well, yeah. I did. I did remember it. What movie it. was it? Fast 10. They're still fast. They're still furious. It's fabulous. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like... Okay, so let's just <laughs> rewind a little bit. I like Vin Diesel, and I get that he's the patriarch of the series, but it's really, really, really a good thing that they bring in such great supporting casts because his acting skills... <laughs> <laughs> he's good as a tree. He looks, he's great <laughs> as group, but they, they pan in on him for those serious looks. He just is like the same face. It's the same time. face all the time. And then he'll say, I've expect him in Fast and Furious, but I am Groot <laughs> in a car. Stop it. This is better than Jason Mimosa. I really nailed that one last episode. Yeah, Mimosa. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. Who plays a fantastic villain? Yep. A little crazy. I don't. I want to know how much of that was his personality yeah, he's versus great. stretching it because he was. He is very a flamboyant. Psycho. Yes, he plays so, a very good yep. psycho. Very good psycho. Uh, and it's not over yet because that was just part one. No, and that's out there, and that's not a spoiler thing. They have outright said this is a trilogy, <laughs> starting with Fast Ten. Yeah. So. Yeah, so 11 and 12. At are, one point, if uh, they'll be slow and not very furious <laughs> if they keep this up. So uh, so I I liked, you know, everybody that was in this one, but I wanted to know where The Rock was. Sure. And there he was. <laughs> so that is I a thought spoiler. We, we, yeah, we think those two hate each other. So and maybe they still do, but yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, we don't. Hollywood. Does. Well, it was an open feud that they were never going to do. Yeah. Like I read after the fact that they were not filming scenes together, so they would was do stuff separate the and then edit. And Hobbs thing? It was pre-Hobbs and Shaw, so okay. the blow-up happened on Fate of the Furious, okay. which led, led to um, the other crazy karate guy that you really like. Stay them. Oh, Jason yeah. and it's Rock nice. doing a movie together, and No Vin Diesel was post Rock and Diesel blow up. So, gotcha. Yep. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah, but I I really like Jason too. <laughs> He's more my height, so <laughs> I can relate to him. A whole bunch of stuff coming out that we have to see. So yeah, there's lots coming down the pipe. Transformers. There's something like next week too. I mean, it's like nonstop now. We're in the summer. Indiana movie. Jones is coming out. Mission Impossible mm -hmm. Part 1 of whatever Cruz has got his hands in. Yeah. yeah yep. Who knows? He still looks really good though <laughs> for doing those movies. But all right. I think that's what we got. Yeah. That's Did I miss it. anything? Did we get our balls yet from Baden? Uh, they're shipping. So. Okay. Arizona fan, I have yours. Yes, to answer your question. We do have yours, yep, but we, I have it held. we I don't sell have it. your address, which sure. we don't want you to put on social media. So uh, please send it to Kathy at GreenBayBlizzard.com. And we will send that to you. I've had that in my possession, yes. so we didn't sell it while it we were waiting for the rest to come in. Yeah. Right. I think the other comment we had was, great episode. We know. Thank you. The, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> and then, then we, had, we got a gentleman that ordered a reversible jersey probably six months ago at this point, and I think he's coming to military night, and he was excited. So we're excited to have you because he's, he's an Illinois person who comes to his cabin in Shawano. I'm tracking this. I believe I've talked, talked to him, so he's coming to the military game. So Excellent. Yep. Yeah, those reversible jerseys turned out nice. And the – so this is, this is how tired I was at the end of the game. <laughs> Actually, this was prior to the game, so I was already tired prior to the game. So some of the interns 
you know, our, our ladies yeah. came to say hi. And they said, these reversible jerseys are great. We're trying to, you know, get the get the fans to see them and maybe purchase some. And I went, oh, well, you don't have... Oh, wait, you're wearing it reversed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. So it was, right, yeah. Two of them had it on the current logo yeah. and one had it on the yep. old logo, so... Yeah, that was a that was a good idea there. If I do say so myself, <laughs> that thing has. Larry gone thought like that's nuts. what we were giving yeah, away, yeah. so yeah, that was our jersey for the kids. Yeah, that so was we cool. do have quite a few of those. Pick them up because you won't be able to next year. Yeah, they're gone this year, so yeah. So we got. That's all I know. Yeah. So yeah, pick up the strictly ball at military night because it will be here in time. Once we figure out some creative math. From our yes. football partner. Where are we? <laughs> so <laughs> that wasn't even your kind of man. It was I don't not. Know what just that was. yeah, because this show ninety nine ep- episodes strong knows how good I am at math. This was not me. <laughs> this was not me at all. We're trying to determine if <laughs> they owe us a case of balls. Right. If they, it's owe fun. Us, it's, it's just fun. been yeah. It's been crazy, but. But we will have, we have military balls left and we have strictly balls left. That is it for football. So did we sell out of the 20? 20, yeah, yeah. 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 Waste management had bought 25 for their customer night, which has been a thing twice now this season of sponsors <laughs> picking up footballs for other employees in attendance. But so. it's a great thing yeah. to have as a takeaway from the game. And then if you're going on to the field at the end of the game, it's a great thing to get signed. Absolutely. So, yeah. All right. That's what we got. We're going to go gaming now. I oh, mean, you know, we're dressed for esports. <laughs> don't that we don't want that to catch on. <laughs> so it's like a spurt of energy when you play yeah, esports. Have an esport during your esports. Exclusively at Edge VR Arcade. <laughs> we have all the spurts. Yep. Okay. Esports. Thank you. Yes. No, I think that's it. So we uh, be sure you make the last one. Um, if you get charity donations or flex vouchers left, you will not be able to redeem them <laughs> after that game. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please make sure. Yep. There are some charities that were later in the season that are for next year. 2024 vouchers, yep. But we did have quite a few that were for this year. So please make sure you're um, letting your people know that they got to use them up. If, they're, if they have the 2023 date on them, they have to be used this season. Yeah. As well as your flex. You can't trade in your flex. Nope. Your 23 flex for 24. Correct. I think that's what we got. We'll see you for the 100th. 100 episodes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Should we hit them with it? And I'm going to wait this time. <laughs> and a beat. Yes. Let's, <laughs> let's do hit them with it. Go, Go Bliss. Bliss. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell to get all of our content in your inbox. 